Hello, friends. I am the Earth. Yes, that's right. The very planet you live on. And today, I woke up a bit sad. Do you know why? It's because I dreamt that there was even more water pollution. So much so, that all living things that live in the sea, oceans and rivers had disappeared. Even though it was just a dream, I can assure you that if you don't stop contaminating the water, bit by bit, this horrible dream will come true. The water's contamination worries me tremendously, especially when thinking that three quarters of my surface is water. Even though I'm named the Earth, if you were to look at me from space, you would see more water than land, and that's why I'm also referred to as the Blue Planet. Everyone knows that the water is imperative for life. Without water, there would be no plants, nor animals, nor even us, human beings. Yet still, many people continue to throw rubbish bags, bottles, furniture into the ocean and rivers as if they were a container where one could get rid of all the things one doesn't want anymore. In many houses, liquids such as oils and dirty products are poured into the drains and then these get mixed up with the water and this contaminated water then travels through the pipes to the seas and rivers. There are also factories which throw their chemical wastes into the waters, making them extremely contaminated killing loads of aquatic animals. Here you can see a seal eating a plastic bag, thinking it's food. We don't know if it'll survive. Or this poor frog lying dead because of contamination. Another of my surface water's enemies is petroleum. You have no idea the damage it has caused to my seas and oceans. The sinking of ships transporting this oil has caused tremendous catastrophes, which only heal with the passing of time. But I don't want to upset you with all that I have told you. As bad or complicated things may seem, there is always a solution. And I am positive that if you were to help me, all together, working as a team, we will make the water clean again, and all living things will be safe. A way you can help is by collecting all your trash the day you go on an outing and never ever throw it into the river or sea. Another way you can help is by not throwing any oils or other liquids into the drains, such as paint for example. We can all encourage our families and friends to improve their habits and start to think about the importance of ending our water's contamination. Looking after water is taking care of life, too. This is why you have a great responsibility. I need each and everybody's help to remain healthy. If you take care of the water, you will be taking care of me, my nature, as well as all living things. I have no doubt that together we can make sure my sad dream will never come true. For as you know, children can make a world of difference.